Welcome, welcome. I'm MTG Joe. We're trying out live on YouTube today, and we're going to be playing some ranked best of three with Black White Knights. So this was a recent 5-0 list from MTG uh, Online. Um, so it's basically a Black White mid-range list, um, but more focused around knights as efficient creatures. Um, so you have both the Knight of Grace and the Knight of Malice. They're effectively the same card, just inverse. So they pump each other up, or they can be pumped up by one power for uh, if you control a black or white permanent, uh, respectively. So Knight of Malice is black, but gets pumped up if you face a white, have a white permanent on the board, either you or your opponent. They both have hexproof from the opposite color as well. Um, so this is actually really good against like Grixis decks, where a lot of their removal are black based. They can't directly target it, and then they both have first strike. Um, the rest of the deck is we have a Danto Vanguards, which is a resilient creature, although not a knight. Um, if they don't have like Moment of Cravings, you could pretty much just take out your opponent that way. And then we have Midnight Reaper as some card draw. Uh, we're also playing History of Benalia that cares about knights. So the deck itself can have aggro draws where you chain like a Knight of Grace into multiple History of Benalias and just overrun your opponent that way. Um, and then on the top end of the creatures, we have Seraph for the scale, which is a two of, just an efficient beater that leaves bodies behind. Um, the rest of the deck is pretty much a mid-range control list. Uh, you'll have Duress to disturb your opponent's opening hands. You'll have Cast Down as removal along with Mortify. And then Vraska's Contempt as a catch-all for Planeswalkers or creatures. And then we're playing two Eldest Reborn, so that's the one deviation I have. Um, the 5-0 list played four Gideons. Uh, which is just a really good creature to play in with the other spells, and then uh, three Liliana Dreadvors. Um, instead, I'm playing one extra Eldest Reborn and one Ugin. Um, the, this deck, I feel, will run into an issue with card draw, especially if you're grinding them out into the late game. So Ugin uh, serves two purposes. It creates additional pressure with a stream of two twos, which will also, if they get killed, just give us card draw but also its minus ability is good of a kind of catch-all removal spell if we need to. Um, and then in terms of the lands, it's pretty standard land base. They were playing four mobilized districts. I'm looking to play three. Uh, I found in testing this morning, drawing multiples isn't as good, but this is basically playing like a mutavolt role. It's a creature land that costs less to activate with all our planeswalkers that we're playing. And then I'm playing one Field of Ruin. Um, there's some greedy mana bases in terms of Grixis, so you can take them off a of color sometimes, or just to deal with like a search flip for Iskanta. So we got some people in the chat as well. Um, Helvino is looking to try it out. Welcome, welcome. So we're trying this out um, in place of Twitch as well, uh, just seeing what's the best platform to go live with. Uh, the sideboard itself is uh, two duress. Uh, just going up to a full four against control. We have cast down uh, for more creature removal. A couple moment, uh, well, one moment of cravings for the aggro matchup. The spark is really good against like phoenixes to fairies. Just a lot of the high end threats. Cryocarnarium is for the really aggressive matchups. It does kill our knights, but if we need to be more of the control shell, we can shift to that role. Another Mortify, just in case we need more uh, spot removal. It's good against like the enchantment based decks. Uh, Vraska's Contempt again for creatures. Soren's really good against board wipe decks or aggressive decks. So Soren can reanimate our creatures, but also give us lifelink. Uh, so we can gain some life against like Mono Red. Karn's in for the control matchup to give us more card draws. And then uh, a third Eldest Reborn, just respecting like Teferi and the creatures there. So we'll get started. We're going to be playing some ranked. I started off the day at gold four. So we won basically three games, I think. I was playing one best of one, three or four games. Straight uh, black, white knights. I've been in love with Soren, So I've been playing like every variation of black, white I can just to play it in the decks. Um, so we'll get started. Uh, for those of you who are catching this on the YouTube replay, um, we will be playing uh, pretty much a mix of best of uh, three with this deck. Um, if you're enjoying the content, uh, subscribing is a great way to support the channel. Uh, if you can't catch it in live, I'm going to be trying to do a couple more live ones. So if you want to join in, uh, I'll always send out the uh, tweet before we go live. Uh, so it's MTG underscore Joe2 for Twitter. 
So this hand's pretty good aggressive curve, so we'll keep that. Knight uh, into Gideon. Gideon will pump the knight, give it lifelink if need be, and we can go from there. So here, opponents on likely some sort of gruel deck. Okay, so this looks like, uh, could be Gruel mid-range, could be Gruel aggro. So I like going with Gideon here. Uh, so what we can do is we can give this Vigilance. It does have the first strike, so we can attack in. And then hold it back on defense as well. And then with the three toughness, it can block the Zerta Druid. Kiora. So they're likely using this as card draw in like the stompy list. Um, so here... So let's plus this, give it Vigilance again. Uh, probably makes sense to take Kiora off the battlefield. Gives him card draw. And then we can just drop Seraph for next turn. I ebb and, flow with battle. and then the following turn we can play both Knight uh, and Midnight Reaper. So we're in a good spot here. And this is what I like about this version. You can get really aggressive and if you need be you can just grind them out with like Liliana's and some other spells. So Seraph can take down the Kiora in the sky. Okay, so they're ramping up. And they got the boar there, so that's a bit scary. Uh, here. So here we need to decide, we can give this Vigilance, we can give this Indestructible and smash into our opponent. I think I like that. Exiling doesn't really do much right now. So let's give this Indestructible. I will lend you my strength. Go to combat. Uh whenever a creature enters the battlefield. So we can go for our opponent, but I think we still take down Kiora, Gideon, and Knight into our opponent. So they'll block there, they take four. Back to the depths. And then we'll just play out both here. So that can soak up some damage most likely. We're concerned if they drop like a Galta. I'm gonna likely double block here. There was a play where we just keep both knights back to first strike the uh, Ilar Ilharg. They definitely don't make these names easy. Okay, so they crawl Harpooner. Fine. This actually gives us some blockers and a couple card draw. Okay, cast down. Won't deal with the Illamark. We have the Spellbreaker as well. This will deal with the Spellbreaker. See if they play defensively here. So they're going to go after Gideon. Let's see what they drop down. This will give indicate to us how we want to block. Okay, so they drop a phoenix as well. Phoenix is coming into us. I 
I think we're just gonna take, like Gideon take the six here. Doesn't kill it. Do not frighten me. So here, let's cast down the spellbreaker. Yeah, opponent concedes. So they're pretty far behind there. Uh, it doesn't really do much in this case. So again, this matchup, we're going to want Contempt, Mortify, I'll take the Sorens, the Dispark's also good, uh, Duress not as good in this matchup, Vanguard gets outclassed fairly easy, um, like the removal, Knight's good early pressure, Seraphs can deal with the Flyers, Maybe just go down the Karn and probably go down one night. We need to be bigger than they are. Do I want the Eldest Reborn? Just as more removal maybe. Actually cast downs probably. Well, cast down can't deal with the big stuff. Actually, let's go down and then bring in the cast down. Let's play it like that. So we're missing colors here. This hand's much better. Uh, do I want the fourth land here? I think we're naturally going to draw into it, so I'm going to opt to not take it right now. So they're going to have the elf on one. So if they go now with something like Spellbreaker on two... Yeah, so hopefully they haste it out. That would be the best case. But they don't, so it makes it a little worse for us. Knight also not having something to pump it up is pretty bad here. So I think we just need to try to hold off where we can. Them being on the play with an elf turn is usually harder for us to come back yeah. with Phoenix. They're hitting us for 8 next turn. Seraph comes down. Just soak up some damage there. Even with the Liliana turn, we minus it. Doesn't do much. They got a quick start here. Okay. And we'll call it quits on this one. That is a curve. Tooth. <laughs> Like turn two, turn three, turn four. Um, I don't think we really want to change much. We'll run it back. Them on the play. It's going to be tough for us to catch up on that. So we'll play first here. Uh, early cast down's good. We'll keep this hand. Them not having an elf there is really good. I'm gonna pass here. It's worse if we draw another spell, but... Yeah, let's just cast it down. Probably not much of a difference. They have the Kiora. Octopuses, serpents. I love them all. 
here, let's just bring out Seraph. It's a clock on Kiora. But honestly, I might just start going after the opponent. We have Contempt if they drop like a Phoenix. If they don't, then I'm just gonna Gideon. Okay, Ferox. So that's pretty good, because now we can Gideon. I will defend the weak at every opportunity. Your light will cleave. Give this lifelink. Give this vigilance. And then on the the back side. Um, do we want to go after the opponent? Mm, probably. Just take out Kiara. So if they attack into Gideon, we can just use Seraph to trade here. And then we let her left with the two spirits. So Ferox is a little difficult to deal with, but if we draw a land, Liliana... Okay. So, Harpooner does have to trade. We could throw a Spirit in the way. Sorry about that. Doggo's on guard duty. My 40 pound golden doodle likes to uh, think she's a Rottweiler and guard the front door. Okay, so they go both after Gideon. We can I think just getting a block in here is good. Okay, so we have the Benalia turn. Or we can get rid of Ferox. Let's give this Vigilance. So, Gideon into Kiora. Spirit in. Now, it may be wrong for us to be attacking Kiora. But I feel like just them continually getting card draw. And then Benali will just give us some blockers right now. We really want to hit that one more la mana. So this block's here, this block's here. If they want to haste something out, they can. But opponents also miss some line drops, so... So they have the Spellbreaker here. They give that haste. So I'm gonna do this. The reason we're doing this is because if we get Liliana down, I want him to have to sacrifice both of these. Okay, so another Benalia. Not the worst. I'm just gonna hold back the spirit here. So for those that are tuning in live, uh, I'm MTG Joe. I uh, don't usually go live, I mostly just uh, stream playbacks. Um, so I play everything from jank, budget brews, to tier 1 lists on the channel. If you haven't checked it out, it is MTG underscore Joe. Um, if you have any suggestions for videos or stuff you'd like to see, War of the Spark just came out, so there's a lot of fun brews. Um, I, I just did a three-part series where we took uh, Demir Control, 
we did a ultra budget version where we played basically only uh, commons and commons in the list uh, minus the mana base and then we did a mid budget uh, with a couple upgrades and then the no budget consideration um, so with the list like that We'll play around with them from time to time. Um, we're going to be doing a similar one with Black White Aristocrats next, and then we'll take it from there. So here we need to decide. I think what I'm going to do is just play this in Tapped, and just Vraska's Contempt, the Phoenix. the turn. I don't want to really lose any of the knights with Liliana. She'll help us draw cards. I didn't want to also play either of these out because it would have just taken Phoenix in the air. Because we could do next turn is these to get the pump. We could Liliana to get them to sacrifice. Okay, so they have Galta. Scary. Uh, so let's go Liliana here. This isn't your average zombie. Uh, Get out of my sacrifice way. too. They were allowed to death is in life. Play out the land and No attacks here. It's in their interest to attack Liliana. I'm probably gonna block with one just to get a card draw going. Uh, we can reanimate Seraph, but lose Soren. So they had Cannonade. You draw two cards. We do have Ugin as well, that the Ugin down tick can deal with uh, Galta. It's kinda convenient that they got the Zerta. I am exhausted. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're at eight mana. So we can Ugin. Destroy Galta. My plans do not include and then play out the knight. The knight can properly block Zerta. If they have a haster, they do. Okay, growth chamber. They can adapt growth chamber. But if they don't have evasion, Ugin is just going to start creating creatures for us. Plus, I abhor my need for blood. Um, so mobile district would cost two if we need it in a pinch. Just want to keep that open. Actually, we're one mana short, anyways. Pass the turn. This gives us some blockers. So they shock in here. Could be another Galta. That's six power. So they have Phoenix. this for four get back Seraph this is why I like Soren a lot in these decks 
We're just gonna hold back because I'm gonna go for the alpha strike next turn. These will all get pumped. So everything will be bigger than their board. Ugin's a destroy effect. Mobilized district is a citizen creature. We'll block here. This might telegraph a cannonade. If they have that, it's pretty bad. It wipes our board. But in the same vein. They gets rid of their phoenix. Okay, so just another growth chamber. That being a 3-3 three, three doesn't really do much. They're all out of growth chambers. So I'm gonna do this now. Forces them to lose one blocker. Zerta goes away. Do we want a minus Ugin here? No, I think Ugin just giving us more value. Let's plus Ugin first. Okay, so Gideon's good there. Uh, so they'll have one Phoenix. So let's attack like that. I just want to be able to block the Phoenix on the back end. As of right now, we could bring back Liliana, which would be probably the best. Yeah, opponent concedes. So I've really been liking this deck. It's been having a lot of game against some of the more uh, mid-rangey threats and can still put a lot of pressure on Esper by playing so many Planeswalkers out of the sideboard. Um, anyways, I'm gonna wrap it up for those of you live. Uh, you can catch any of my playbacks, like I mentioned, on my YouTube channel, MTG underscore Joe. Uh, if you have any suggestions, drop them in the comments of the video once it goes up. Or you can uh, chat with me in best time on Twitter at MTG underscore Joe. Thanks for those who tuned in, and have a great one.